Good morning, family and friends. September 11th. It's about 7.20. And uh, I can't let this day go by without saying 20 years ago today, we were viciously attacked by savages. 3,300 people were lost. Kids without their fathers, mothers. So during the day today, let's give a little moment of prayer of thanks for living in a country that we can be free and do what we, what we can do, what we want to do within inside of the law. <clears throat> and let's be mindful of the survivors that are probably still suffering today, especially on a day like today. It brings back bad memories. I know it brings back memories for me. I was supposed to be in that World Trade Center building <coughs> that particular day. I would have been in the path train down below when the first plane hit. And uh, if it wasn't for a cancellation of a meeting, uh, it would have, uh, I might not be here. I don't know. But God's will, will has prevailed, always will prevail. So we're here doing what we like to do. So enough of that. Anyway, we are going to be covering 19 miles today to Calf Mountain Shelter. Another beautiful morning. I have my raincoat on, as you saw. It's not raining. I just need a little extra layer. Keep cool. It's probably in the low 50s this morning. Again, the weather sounds like a broken record, but the weather is... Anything what I expected it to be here in Virginia. And that's a good thing. Let's keep it up. Don't want hot and humid. I'd rather have this. I'll take this all day. As most, as all hikers will. Anyway, by looks in the eight wall guide, elevation again, not much of a factor today. You never know about the rocks. It looks kind of flat on the profile, but you got rocks. <coughs> Sun's just about peeking up. It's, uh, again, 720. The sun's kind of peeking up. Spent, uh, this is my third night in the campground in the Shenandoah National Park. And I, I like this last one, Loft Mountain. <laughs> It was more remote than others. I wasn't, we were on top of each other. And uh, it, uh, the tent sites were pretty cool. A lot of side trails to go and see the nice sunset. But uh, I didn't see it last night because I was cooking and still getting my camp set up. Anyway, that's it for now. We'll get back to you with uh, some cool stuff, I hope very soon. Popped out of the woods into this parking lot and we see this is Dole's River Valley. I guess Dole's River is down there someplace. I don't know. I'd like to cross it because there's not a lot of stream crossings today. We're going to go into a picnic area in a little bit. Hopefully there's a restroom there with a faucet and I get some water. But this is pretty nice. First view of the morning. <clears throat> Brown Gap Elevation 2595. This came out in this uh, parking lot. And the trail continues on over here. All of a sudden, I come out into this rock spree. <laughs> wow. Kind of reminds me of Maine. There's another rocky outcrop there. Wow. 
pretty cool. You see it's still blue sky. <clears throat> I realize I haven't really been filming too much today uh, because this is basically what we have today. It's a very dry section. Uh, the only water I've had is I stopped at a, a picnic area about two miles after the campsite, uh, Loft Mountain Campgrounds, and uh, to get water from a faucet there, or from a well. Uh, other than that, I have not run across any water today. The only water that I will have is uh, coming up in about two miles, but I hear it's dry. And another, there's another pipe spring right by where I want to camp by the shelter in about five and a half miles. But other than that, we've just been doing putts all day long. Uh, yeah, it's kind of rocky puds, smooth puds. And then we get on ridges for a little while. Then we'll go down. Then we'll go up. Then we'll go down. So it's been kind of a boring day as far as giving you anything with views or substance or other than, other than anything what you've seen before. Uh, it's Saturday and I've seen a few people out. Um, so, but not a lot. So, just letting you know what's happening. Making sure you know that I haven't forgotten about you. And how could I? Turk Gap Parking Area, elevation 2625. This is the only water source between what I pumped today at that picnic area and here at the shelter, 15.2 miles. Not a, not a drop of water. Driest section that I've seen in a long time. We're about a tenth of a mile from the shelter, but I'm gonna load up here with water. <clears throat> hey folks. So, uh, oh, it's getting dark. I was in my tent, my hammock, when I um, realized I didn't do the recap for today. So um, I'm here with a bunch of folks from St. Louis, Cleveland, some other guys. They're all hiking the Shenandoah National Park northbound. I'll be out tomorrow. I'm doing seven and a half miles tomorrow in Waynesboro, and then I'm staying in a hostel. Get my new shoes. I put on, I figured, I put on... 680 miles on these shoes so far, which is really good. So today we did 19.5, 19 19.5. 19 I'm at 1,321 miles, 1,321 and a half miles so far. And uh, things are going good. Today was, uh, the day was without water for quite some time, which I documented. I, I, I let you guys know at the, that spring. So that, I was glad to see that spring. So it's getting late, as you can see. I'm going to crawl on my hammock, edit this video, and we'll send it out tomorrow. So uh, thanks again for watching. And uh, God bless. We'll see you tomorrow on the trail. Good night.